Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And today I wanted to show you a quick tip using the stitch lace die. As you can see, it's an extremely intricate die and getting out all these bits and pieces can be problematic. But I came across a happy accident when preparing this card for a class that I am doing and I wanted to show that to you so I'm using crush curry and what I'm going to do is take the die and it comes in two pieces this one cuts along here so you don't have to do it in a square but we are using it as a square and I'm going to bring in my die cut machine but whatever die cut machine you have will work so I'm just going to line this up now because I can see through the holes I can pretty much line it up I say that and my hand is in the way of course uh, yep that looks pretty straight to me now just for good luck and good measure I'm going to run this through twice so once one way that clunking is totally normal and once the other way so I'm going to leave the paper in the die but I am going to look at it and make sure it looks as though everything has cut through whilst this isn't perfectly straight um, I am happy that it is all cut through so this is where the tip comes in so I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! Take Your Pick tool now you can get the brush end uh, when you buy it it comes with this is the sticky pickup end and you've got the spatula a mini spatula end and you've got um, the pokey pokey piercing tool and you've got stylus but you can get the brush end for this and this comes with a piece of foam so you can see I've already been using this quite a lot today so what I do on the piece of foam I pop it paper side down and I take my take my pick tool with not super hard pressure just reasonable pressure I run it over now this is ejecting all those little holes out so I haven't taken it out of the die I'm just running it over you can go in different directions and you can see when these have been ejected so you can lift it up and just see I try if you go too hard you're not oh, ejecting anything so you can see there and from the back when I pop it over that I've ejected let's say 98% just going to shake that off in my bin and what I'm going to do is just grab a corner here if I can my shaky hands so grab a corner and pull this away and in the action of pulling it away I'm hoping a few more of those holes so you can see all the paper is out of the die which is fantastic and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop this down and just pop out one two three there's like half a dozen half a dozen and half a dozen like half sitting in which is good and that is as easy as what it is and on the back I just go in and these ones that don't want to eject I sort of give them a bit of a bit of persuasion with my nail but you can see how easily and painlessly I was able to get 98% of these out and you get this fantastic result. Now this is the card 
that I have made using uh, Poppy Moments uh, painted labels dies and I've used the Timeless Tulip stamp set and classic label die i will be uh doing a vi live video um, making this card and i'll link that below but i just want to show you the quick tip to get all of the holes ejected out of the stitch label die using the take your pick tool nice and easy and painless thank you so much for joining me today and i hope you subscribe like my video and pop back really soon to see me have a wonderful day bye